Let go. How is everyone doing today, my YouTube class? Um, I am your teacher, Mr. Chuck Taylor. Um, today, this is uh, Sneakerhead English 101. Uh, thank you very much for tuning in once again. Um, today, we have the word hype beast. Um, it is a very popular term that has come about here and um, in probably about the last year. It's really been um, a commonly used term here, uh, here in Sneakerhead English 101. So we're going to really break down the word today and really examine the meaning of it. So that way everyone can know since everyone seems to be throwing it out uh, all willy-nilly, if you understand what I'm saying here. But first off, the word hype. We're going to break it into two, into two parts here. Um, the word hype, of course. Um, here in Webster's Dictionary, we're going to read off the, the, the English Webster's Dictionary and then we're going to read from the Urban Dictionary. Uh, but the word hype, it means excessive publicity and the ensuing commotion. For example, the iPhone. It's just a phone. But you have a million people out waiting in front of the stores, every Apple store in the world, to get this, this one device. Because of the way it's advertised, because of the way it's portrayed. Um, Jordan's, for example, Jordan sneakers. Michael Jordan hasn't played basketball in, in over 10 years. But his shoes, uh, the commotion about them, people are getting robbed, people are getting shot. Is it really necessary? In my opinion, no. Um, but of course, you, you um, young kids these days uh, obviously, obviously think that your life is worth a pair of Jordans. Um, but in the Urban Dictionary here, uh, the word hype says, when someone gets excited about something, um, for example, damn, you're hype, calm down. Um, damn, those shoes are fly, what are you doing? Oh my gosh, so, oh, oh, oh. That is kind of an example of the word hype. Um, it gives another example here. Um, a flat, a fad, a clever marketing strategy of a product. Um, like I was saying with the iPhone, uh, they marketed making it seem like this great device has everybody's Everybody wanting to get it, everybody waiting in line, and like, oh, I want this, I want this, I want this. That is building up hype. Okay, here, so second off, we have the second portion of our word, uh, beast. Um, in, in the Webster Dictionary, beast is referred to as an animal. Uh, of course, in human terms, reading here on the Urban Dictionary, it says... Um, a person who is so good at a certain skill that they have exceeded human comprehension. So if you were to combine the word beast and the word hype, making this word hype beast, um, it's pretty much like saying you are the king of hype. You are above everyone else uh, when it comes to, to being on the hype and being excited about, about whatever that product is. So, when we look here in the terms of shoes, with all the different um, Jordan and, and Nike releases that have been coming out, especially over the last few years, uh, it has really changed the game, um, I guess you can say. Um, every pair of Jordans that come out now have a line, no matter what kind of Jordans they are. Um, retros, first time releases, um, new colorways, old colorways, um, they all have a line. People are buying shoes for $180, trying to resell them for $300 on every single release. And Jordan comes out, of course, multiple pairs um, each month, as, as well as Nike, uh, which is which is really absurd there as far as how people are coming, trying to trying to buy them and, and resell, and all this different stuff that that comes with that hype that that Nike and Jordan brand have built. Um, so I've said all this just to say, uh, when it comes to being a hype beast. Uh, you should really do your homework on who you're referring to as a hype beast because if you really think about the meaning as I've broken it down, um, you can really say that anyone that constantly is getting all the hottest Jordans or Nikes every week is a hype beast. Uh, pretty much if you're, if you're getting the newest things, then you are a hype beast. Uh, so I guess all of you are hype beasts. I guess I'm a hype beast as well. Um, so shout out to all the hype beasts. Thumbs up. Yeah. So anyways, class is over. Uh, but pretty much, the only reason I'm making this video. Uh, other day, it was pretty funny. I woke up, checked my email, say I got a, a, somebody replied back to one of my YouTube videos. 
And I read it. Uh, let me actually pull it up here for y'all. I'll even read it off to y'all. But pretty much the person was referring to me as a hype beast. Seriously. At first I, look, I, I looked at it and I read it. I was like... I just kind of thought to myself, hmm, me, a high beast. Oh yeah, for sure, I'm a high beast. No, man, psh. seriously, if anyone is, has has watched my videos, if if you have watched my videos and say say looking at my videos, name two shoes that I've done that were really hyped and sold out, like in the first day of, of getting it, really. Um, it's not really any shoes that I've ever got that were really hyped up and all this big old rah rah about the release. I mostly do general release SBs because that's what I like rocking. Um, Nike sometime, whatever. I've had different shoes that were supposed to be hyped in the past. And hey, I'm not, I don't have anything wrong with shoes. Alright, Bread 11's, real nice shoe. I can understand why people like them. But it's not really that crucial. But anyways, one of the comments here says, um... This is on my on the Nike Sport Red Mids I did, the SBs. It says, hype, getting anything that comes out. You obviously don't know shit about SBs. There are dope mids. You get anything just to fit in the sneaker game. How sad. Hmm. I've been collecting shoes, buying shoes, selling shoes, trading shoes for four years now. Uh, and I've had everything from Jordans to Nikes to Pumas to Adidas. Uh, when was the last time that anybody ever saw a real Adidas shoe that was hyped up? When was the last time, even the shoes I'm wearing right now, when was the last time you seen a hype beast rock some throwback sky high two pumas? Seriously, and I'm a hype beast supposedly. But anyways, uh, let me read off this second comment here because obviously I'm the biggest hype beast in the world. I don't know anything about shoes. And, um, and another thing he said, he said that, uh, you obviously don't know anything about SBs. There are dope mids. He was referring to a comment I made saying that I've never had a pair of SBs and I never had a pair of mid-top SBs and that I usually didn't, didn't like them or buy them. That's personal opinion, first off. Um, whether you like a certain style of shoe or not, that's really up to that person. Not everybody likes the same stuff. Me, like I said, I prefer either high tops or low top SBs. Um, let's see here. I don't even see, I don't even see the other comment he had posted here, but uh, he probably went back and deleted it when I replied back to it, but that one was pretty much saying something about, something about the same thing, uh, I don't know, just some nonsense there. But seriously, if you're going to call somebody a hype beast um, and talk about their shoe game and what they're doing, please find out, really know the person before you really start calling stuff out. I understand that the person is, is commenting on Facebook, commenting on whatever, saying, Oh, look at, um, I don't know, like, look at, I don't, I always hear people saying, look at those great eights, referring to the aquas. If somebody say some stuff like that, trying to act like they know what they're talking about, all right, you can call that person a high beast, whatever, because that's something that might kind of catch your attention is, oh, they're just trying to fit in. But seriously, dude, so whoever made the comment, I ain't even going to call you out as far as your username or whatever. If you're going to make comments, at least find out. Um, and do your, your research. If you look back in any of my videos, I've had all different kinds of shoes, whether it be Jordan, Nikes, um, Pumas, LeBrons, running shoes, basketball shoes, casual shoes, whatever. I buy what I like. I don't really care what another person thinks about my shoe collection. Yes, I do like catching attention because of my shoes, but if you want to don't like the kind of shoes I wear, if you want to think I'm just buying stuff because... Uh, because that's what people like, then you're sadly mistaken because for one reason, none of the reviews I do, I haven't did a review about anything that's supposedly been hyped. Um, I haven't done a review about any kind of Jordan 13s uh, that came out. I haven't done a review about really any Jordans, period. Um, I haven't did a review about no kind of uh, Nike Air Max, no kind of exclusive LeBrons. Nothing like that, so I don't see where you're getting this um, hype beast set. So, I'm, all the reason I'm making this video is if you're gonna call somebody a hype beast, do your research. Don't just go throwing the word around just just because that's you want to be fit in and kind of say what everybody's saying. Find out what a hype beast is first before you try to call people out on it. That's all I'm really saying with this video. Uh, thank you all for watching. I apologize for going on this little rant here, but um, that just kind of uh, 
not really pissed me off, but it just like made me think about how much the word is really thrown around and who is being thrown around to. Uh, but just long story short, if you're going to use the word, don't try to use it just to be cool. Don't try to insult somebody by it. If you're going to call somebody a hype beast, have a reason to call them a hype beast and be legitimate with it and why you're calling them. Not just because supposedly they don't know anything about shoes. If you just get into the shoe game, then, hey, you, you're, you're learning, but don't act like you know everything um, and like you just have every shoe under the, under the sun and this and this and that and that there because that's really not what the shoe game is about. Um, the, the old sneakerheads and the new sneakerheads, uh, it's all about just just learning and teaching. I can teach somebody that's been in, I don't know, like with me. I've been pretty much rocking Jordans, buying Jordans, everything for about three, about, I don't know, two and a half years before I really started getting into SVs. And I didn't think I knew everything. My homeboy introduced me to SVs and started talking about them. I got my first pair and I just fell in love with them. So you can always learn something new. If, if you want to have your mind, if you want to be so closed-minded to where you think you know everything and people can't teach you anything, then, hey, that falls on you, not just when it comes to shoes, when it comes to life in general. Uh, so I really want to hope that you can kind of get over that because that's not going to benefit you um, when it comes to shoes or with life, period, or with people. Um, but I apologize for going to this rain here. I just had to make that video. Uh... But please do subscribe. I promise not all my videos are like this. I do make a lot of review videos as well. A lot of positive things. But uh, this is just something I had to clear up. Because obviously they didn't know what they were talking about. If you do keep track of my videos, you already know. I don't review any shoes that are hype. Main reason because I'm not going to go wait in line. Have to deal with tickets. Take multiple trips up to the mall to pick up some shoes and pay 180 bucks for. Another reason, I'm not going to pay $3 for the resale on them. And plus, it's not that crucial to me. I love shoes in general. Um, I'll make another video soon of my whole collection and how it's grown from that first video I made back in back in February or whatever. Because I've got a lot of a lot more shoes since then. I'll make another video soon. But um, I'm pff, hype is the is the furthest thing I'm really from. And some of you might look at this and be like, "Oh, he's trying to convince himself he's not a hype beast." It's no convincing. That's just fact, really. Um, go back in my history and watch all my videos. I wear shoes because I like them. I don't buy them because that's what everybody else likes. Uh, just saying there. But anyways, it's Chuck T. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at the real Chuck T. Um, of course, click that subscribe button. Almost at 100 subscribers. I do really want to thank everybody that has subscribed to me. Um, and everybody have a have a blessed weekend and uh, just a blessed week. Thank you for turning in, tuning in, and listening to me rant. I do apologize once again. Signing out though. Thank you for watching. The sky's falling, the wind is calling, stand for something or die in the morning. Section 80, high power.